Hey there fellow doll collectors, welcome back. David Eon here, fresh up from the museum. I'm in the video game room right now, but I brought out my complete Fat Albert Tedro collection. My complete carded Tedro collection here. So that I can show this to you today. I have just done last week a video on the complete chem toy Fat Albert collection that was released in 1973 which you see down here I brought them out for size comparison and these were sold loose and carded the chem toy and I talk about that more extensively in the other video but they're basically figurines they don't move at all 1973 chem toy they were sold carded I do not have carded examples carded examples of anything from chem toy is extremely rare and when you do find them they're usually in pretty terrible condition like this carded robin where you see it's kind of beat up but find another one on the card find one loose <laughs> it's not that easy it's not that easy to find these carded either neither is it that easy to find the Tedro series carded so Chemtoy made their figures in 1973 and then Tedro released this series in 1982 so late into the filmation era by the time these were being released you were watching the Brown Hornet instead of the Junkyard Band because they were trying to push Cosby back they were struggling with his creative control over the show personally I prefer the Junkyard Band era better than the Brown Hornet I feel like the Brown Hornet kind of lacked imagination. Although, I mean, it's it's a clever idea that they're watching a cartoon inside of another cartoon. Essentially, that's what it is. But I enjoyed the Junkyard Band better. I think it was just more creative, more fun. Now, essentially, these are almost the exact same figures that were already done. If you really take a look at these, and I'll pull a few of these out and we'll do some side-by-side -side comparisons like Rudy here. Tedro essentially just took the old figures and copied the mold only they scaled it down I mean, he's even standing pretty much in the same pose then they sealed them on these blister cards to the best of my knowledge these were not sold loose only on cards and I'm kind of fortunate to have a set of these on the card here's Bucky and then here's the original chem toy Bucky this one's a lot closer to the original scale so it doesn't look like they used any viable model for scaling the figures down because that Rudy was much smaller than the original Rudy and then this one is pretty close and you'll notice the card isn't perfect either just like with the chem toy it's pretty difficult to find these on cards that are in decent condition and there's really nothing on the back there's nothing really on the back except somebody wrote five dollars on this one once but when you find them on the on the blister the blisters are often um, cracked or split or have dings like this but if you can see I don't know how well you can see this blister is paper thin it's very very flimsy we'll do a side by side on the little bill here see that's uh, a little closer but again almost the same pose it looks like they just took the chem toy figures and said hey re sculpt these that blister is actually not too bad. You see the prices here. Original price 49 cents and then three for a dollar. Well, they weren't very expensive. Stay up there, Bill. Don't knock anybody down. The Russell. And this is the only one. Well, he's still kind of similar, but this one looks like he's walking. I bet you he doesn't stand very well, though. It's really not a very good sculpt, to be honest. But I'm a big fan of 
Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids. This is actually a really nice card on this one. Unpunched, too. No damage to the cello that I can tell. Just a little bit of stress on the bottom. That's really rare to find one of these like this. But I'm a big fan of Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids. You know, and I... I've had some people ask, or I had somebody ask just recently, here's Mushmouth, side by side with the chem toy, how can you still like these uh, despite what Bill Cosby did and all this other stuff, and you know, I'll just say, leave the politics and the social justice out of it, you know, regardless of what you may think that Bill Cosby did or didn't do, um, it does not negate his impact on pop culture particularly in the 70s and 80s. And Fat Albert is still a good show. There's Dumb Donald. Fat Albert is probably one of the best of the classic Saturday morning cartoon shows, and I have fond memories of that show as a child in an era that had things that are just gone forever. Saturday morning cartoons, um, breakfast cereals for kids, I mean really being for kids, barrage of toy commercials. Oh, Weird Harold doesn't want to come out of there very easily. We'll pull the Fat Albert up. And this one, this one's really hard to see. There's a sticker over him. But again, I'll put him side by side with the Fat Albert and he's almost, almost exactly the same size, really. He's painted better. They're all painted better than the Chem Toys. As I brought this up in the other one, they look like they're played with, they're not. They always look like this. The, the paint on the original chem toys is terrible. They're really badly done, but I mean, he's even still holding an apple there. Actually, the Tedro one is bigger, and you can see that this one is barely hanging on the card here. It's just coming apart, plus the sticker on the front, that's just terrible. I wish I had a better one, but these are so hard to find. But yeah, I grew up in, in the era, 70s and 80s kid, lunchboxes, I mean, who does that anymore? Cap guns, it's gone. Now that's a big size difference with the Weird Herald. Really big size difference on this one. But personally, I would rather just focus on the nostalgia of it of just remembering a really good Saturday morning show that I used to enjoy and having the figures from that series two series here actually because the Chem Toy 1973 and then the Tedro 1982 and there's been a couple of others but honestly not very much has ever been made for Fat Albert I have the uh, DVDs also I showed these last time uh, series 1 and 2, I don't have the third disc from this, which is the Brown Hornet era. Because there really weren't very many episodes, they just played them forever. They played them from 1972 to like 1985 on CBS. So they just made, they made very few actual episodes, but they re-ran them over and over and over again, but it didn't seem to matter when you were a kid. Then uh, White Castle, I've got the specials here too, the holiday specials that they would play in the evenings like 8 o'clock on CBS Christmas uh, Easter and Halloween but White Castle made four meal prize figures in 1990 I think Mattel not Mattel Milton Bradley made a board game in 1973 there was a lunchbox I think from Aladdin I could be wrong about that. Remco made dolls in 1985. And a lot of people think they're knickerbockers because they're boxed like knickerbockers, a big window box, because they're large, they're like 24 inches tall. But they're actually from Remco, 1985. They made Little Bill, Fat Albert, and Greg. Who's Greg? I don't know. Uh, a white kid that I don't recognize. He might be from the Brown Hornet era, but I don't remember a Greg. 
and I think the last attempt was by Saba Toys in 2005, and they also only made four figures, and then they just hung it up. They didn't bother to make any more. And none of those are easy to find. <laughs> none of them are easy to find. So what do you think of these? Do you remember the show? Do you have fond memories of the show? Were you a Saturday morning era kid? Lunchboxes and cap guns and Saturday morning cartoons and big bowls of unnaturally sweet cereal? I did grow up during that era. There's Bucky. Kind of miss it. Did you notice the toilet seat there? There's a toilet seat in the corner. Do you have these figures or the chem toys or any of the others that were produced? Like I said, I think I probably named pretty much everything that was ever made for Fat Albert. It wasn't much. Bill Cosby didn't franchise the stuff very much was rare. Well, back in those days, they didn't do it like all that. That's why you can't find very much for Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood either. There's very little that was ever produced. But let me know what you think. What do you think of these figures? Is this a collection you would like to have? Did you used to watch the show? Are you a fan of the old school Cosby kids? I could watch the cartoon right now. <laughs> I, I used to really love that cartoon. I think it was really well done. Well written, entertaining, funny. Sorry you can't see uh, Fat Albert better. His package is just so bad, badly uh, held together. It didn't hold up well, but he's a heavier, larger figure. So it's a lot more difficult to find him on a decent card than the other figures. His size and his weight have damaged it. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. All of that stuff. Hit the bell icon. Check out some of the other videos for more vintage showcases and many other things. I do a lot more than just show vintage toys do modern unboxings, I do video game walkthroughs, I showcase classic toy and food commercials. My wife LPH and I, we have collector oriented discussions as well. A little something for everybody. So check it out, you might like it. Join our Patreon family. Patreon helps to support all of our channel giveaways, including Patreon-exclusive giveaways. So we feed it all back into the community. And I guess that's about all I can show you for the Tedros. Did you notice that the Weird Herald was 75 cents? I wonder where that was being sold. Because I have two that obviously came from the same place. See the three for a dollar sticker there and then three for a dollar here with an original price of 49 cents and I was like who's trying to get 75 and everybody else wanted 49 anyway I think that's about all I can show you for Tedro I hope you got something out of that and I hope to see you again soon so thanks for watching